Are you tired of having to write passwords on the bathroom wall at the local Starbucks? Are you tired of wondering why your uncle keeps hacking into your accounts? Are you tired? Well, check out today's sponsor, Dashlane. Instead of having to memorize 40 passwords for 40 separate streaming services and 40 only fan sites, you can now have them all in one spot. Dashlane is a password hub that makes it easy to manage everything you need, makes online checkouts easier, and they even have a VPN just for that added punch. In the digital age where it's just never ending accounts on accounts and accounts, Dashlane makes it simple to keep it all together. You can try Dashlane for free for your first device by heading to dashlane.com slash bricky and if you want to upgrade a premium you can use my code bricky for 50 percent off hello everybody and all of you loyal loyal members of the imperium my name is bricky i hope you are having a great day today today is a different video i wanted to make this video because i thought that for myself uh, i got a lot of new warhammer subscribers a lot of new warhammer fans from both my videos and magic carp use flies videos which we will talk about soon and because of that i think it's obviously one of those things where i'm not a warhammer youtuber my last video was like an anime review thing and i've got a hell taker review coming out sometime later and i'm not entirely a warhammer person while i will of course still be making Warhammer videos. I did want to kind of do a little bit of a shout out for those people who have not seen enough other Warhammer YouTubers and who are here because they saw my videos and they don't know where to go from here. So I have a whole list of Warhammer view, uh, YouTubers that I watch myself, and I think that they're all very much deserving your attention. Of course, these are not all the best ones. In fact, there are a lot, and I do mean a lot of really good ones that I'm going to be leaving out here, but that of course is not a disservice to them. That is simply because I like watching these ones personally, and I feel like they're some of the best choices for new people to jump into as well, or even some veterans in case you jumped in at some time earlier. So I want to talk about that, but first I want to talk real quickly about myself and Magikarp Use Flies series. He is also starting into Warhammer content as well. I will link his channel in the description, but we did do a video together. Uh, I'm in that along with all of our friends. That's us and our journey getting into Warhammer. Now, however, that was the first part of the series and then the coronavirus hit. Part two, I think, is coming out somewhat soon. So I say somewhat. And I want to get you all over there the best you possibly can so you can see all the wonderful new stuff that's going to be coming out. And as for the other eight Warhammer YouTubers that I'm talking about, I chose them by different types of variations. I chose three battle reports because the gameplay is obviously a very large part of it. I chose two tactics uh, channels, people who talk about tactics and do unit breakdowns. And then I talked about two separate painters as well for miniature painting and things of that nature. And finally, I did one person for lore. And I think I might as well get the lore person out of the way right now because I've already spoke to him once and he's a wonderful guy and he definitely deserves a little bit of your attention. If you don't know him already, let's start off. The first YouTuber is Luton. If you don't know him by now, you're probably under a rock, but Luton is the de facto perfect Warhammer lore YouTuber. If you are curious about the lore of the game, you want to know more about a unit, you want to know more about a faction, you want to know more about an event or a weapon or everything in between, you go to him. He has a video of pretty much everything. If you can't find a video on a story topic about, about his stuff, you can probably find it in like a side section. Like if you can't find a video on the Dark Eldar Archon, you can probably find it in the Dark Eldar section. It's one of those kinds of things where he has made so many videos about so many different Warhammer topics of the lore, and if you're curious about the lore, Luton is your go-to man. I would highly recommend checking him out, especially if you're looking into more in-depth details. I made my two big lore videos, but he is far more in-depth. Mine are entirely meant to get new people into the hobby. They're, that's why they're very rudimentary. He's your deep dive guy. So if you're like, I really like the Tyranids, I wanna know more about the Tyranids, look up Tyranids for good old Luton. I will of course link all of these YouTubers in the description as well as a pinned comment down below so that it make it much easier for you to go and check them all out. All right, now that lore is out of the way, I wanna start off with the battle reports. Now, first battle report channel I would recommend is the Play on Tabletop guys. These guys have come in very recently and they have completely blown things away with their incredible production value, their great shots and cinematography, and they also do things like speeding up the game well, have good music, player interviews, etc. They also link their lists and honestly, the entirety of the Play on Tabletop stuff is very good because it's cut up a heavy amount to be under an hour and of course in a game this long under an hour is a pretty big deal. 
The players are all very, very good and smart, and they generally have good chemistry off of each other. The armies are well painted and look nice, as does the terrain. And all the shots, camera angles, and the way it's run is very impressive. I think they're probably one of the best... I say they're probably, like, the best in terms of production quality of Battle Reports on YouTube right now. The only difference is that because of the production quality, you can't get a whole lot of videos. You're not getting one every single day. You know, it, it takes a little bit of time. It's almost like an event every time one comes out. So the play on tabletop guys, I would highly recommend. They look like they are having a quite a blast. I would I would love to get a game with them, but I am nowhere near good enough to be able to fight these gentlemen or hammers. So that'll be a pipe dream. One day, one day when I'm taking home GTs, I'll be like, I'm ready to challenge USOBs. Second up would be tabletop titans now i split the battle reports up into three kind of categories semi-pro pro and casual uh the semi-pro would be the play on tabletop guys they do have a lot of pro players there and stuff but they tend to stick to different kinds of ideas and their lists are while meta they have a little bit of fluctuation through them and they're not necessarily like hyper competitive i wouldn't say the tabletop titan guys i would say are a little bit more competitive than than the average both of them are very good players they have a lot of good knowledge they understand the game i think a pretty decent uh, decently well uh, the only issue is that they tend to forget stuff but that's because they all play like nine armies between each other or more they play almost every faction and so it's very impressive the the large wealth of knowledge they have of the game they have a lot of wonderful videos talking about how things have changed for ninth edition in case you're curious about your faction their battle reports are well done they have good camera angles they have good back and forth when it comes to how they play and they've got good speed i think that overall they do a very good job of creating a good battle report for people who want to see good players play things well even with a couple of hiccups here and there and they also offer a lot of good insight that while of course like with any insight don't take it as gospel but you are able to learn quite a bit i'd say they're a great learning group and would recommend them definitely lastly we have tabletop tactics now tabletop tactics is probably one of the biggest names in the battle report business uh they are a whole bunch of people that i will i will deem this is a new term this is a new term that i'm, I'm deeming right now okay i'm coining this term offensively british it's perfect these lads i would say this is more on the casual side of battle reports not because they do not know how to play they're actually really good players themselves but they tend to go for more of a fun idea on the fluffy side of things their armies while are effective kind of have more of a hey you know what i'm gonna run just a whole bunch of this crap because it seems fun you know we're gonna do a scion thing 20 toroxes fuck it fuck it it's cool and that's the really fun part. Like, they'll still play their heart out. And I think I probably resonate the most with these gentlemen, where I'll have a list that I make that's going to be kind of funny or silly, but I'll still play my heart out with that list. I'll still do my damnedest. I'm not going to be an asshole about it, but I'm going to do my damnedest, and I'm going to play it out the best I can, even though it's kind of more of a meme -y list. That's why I feel like these gentlemen are. They put out a lot of battle reports. They are very intelligent. They have a lot of uh, back and forth with GW, apparently. So they're one of the many, many people that uh, talk with GW when it comes to creating rules. And, and stuff like that and and i swear to god if one of you take that as they're the reason why x army is bad i'm gonna slap you across the room because that's obviously not how companies and stuff work but uh considering how much i like ninth more than eighth so far i think that it's so far doing a pretty good job they are friendly to each other they're not overly rule maniacal on each other they don't have this iron fist about the rules they kind of do fluff where you know the rule may state that this wouldn't make sense or you can't do this but in a lore perspective you're like, yeah, I just go for it. It's obvious he would do this thing. One of those kinds of things. Playing by intent, of course. They're definitely more of the you want to watch some fun people have fun kind of group and also play decently well. So that's the three of them. Play on tabletop, tabletop titans, and tabletop tactics. That's a lot of tabletop going on there. Highly recommend them. They make some wonderful battle reports. And uh, though while we are getting into battle reports on Twitch very, very soon and we're getting damn far into them uh, we're not fully set up yet and we'll probably talk about that a little bit more in the future but until then there's some wonderful gentlemen to tie you over next up we've got two youtubers from the tactics and unit discussion uh, kind of side of things these people talk more about army lists they talk about how things are uh, 
performing in competitive right now what armies are doing the best and why they're doing the best and that's the most important part is you can say well salamanders are doing great night right now but why are salamanders doing great right now and so these two youtubers are Ospex tactics and almost pro gaming i'm gonna start with almost pro gaming i actually played a game with him once on tabletop simulator because corona and everything like that he is a wonderfully good very very good uh ex tournament organizer and tournament official youtuber who goes around and makes videos about the highest performing armies per month which of course is not much of a thing now because of Corona, but before, it was the highest performing armies back in 8th, why they're so good. He shows off their lists, which is very nice. Uh, his patronage has a Discord that allows him to help you talk and give feedback about your lists and things that are important for maybe any kind of upcoming tournaments. It's a lot of that kind of stuff. It's like, hey, Salamander's list that won this GT, here it is, why is it so good? And I think it's a very good in-depth thing. I personally find his top 10 armies videos to be the most enlightful and because they come along with a whole bunch of the different kinds of armies that are in here. If Tyranids got fifth, he tells you, how the hell did Tyranids get fifth? Well, this is why Tyranids got fifth. I think it's very, very well done, and it offers a lot of insight to the more professional side of things. As for the other one, Auspex Tactics is probably the YouTuber I watch the most out of this entire list. I pretty much watch his videos every single day, all the time, whenever I'm driving. I'll drive somewhere to get food or, or maybe I'm going to the store and I'll throw it on on the Bluetooth and just kind of listen to it. And it's always got a lot of insightful information. He goes, I was going to tell him to learn how to get some goddamn sleep, but he finally went to only one video a day, I think. Thank God. He was a madman. I did that once. Bad idea. Don't do that. Don't, don't overwork yourself. But he has a lot of different unit breakdowns, and he talks about the different kinds of news when it comes to things. He covered the changes to heavy bolters, multi melters, and such in the actual new core rules. He talks about, oh, hey, this is the winning tournament list. Here's what it's about. He goes down through unit breakdowns. He recently did the Lehman Rust tank in 9th edition. How does it play? How does it operate? What are your options? He has codex reviews, things for like the Sisters of Battle one, which I've personally watched a couple times to help me get a little bit more of a rundown. I also like a lot of things where it's like, hey, this is your tactical squad. This is your intercessor squad. Here is what their data sheet says. Here's what you can bring them with. Here's what they're good at. Long unit breakdowns and... A much more important thing after that, synergies that you can run with it. If he's talking about Tyranid Warriors, then after he's done talking about the entire unit and the whole data sheet, you also will, he'll also talk about like, hey, here are the buffs a Neurothrope can give them. Here are the buffs the different high fleets are pretty good with. The Tyranid Prime, what weapons they can use. It's not just, this is the unit. It's what kind of cool combinations can you do with said unit. Uh, he mainly does Imperial stuff at the current moment. I hope he'll swap to some Xenos sometime soon because I think he needs a little bit more diversity. But for that being said, he does a great, great job at making videos talking about lots of different interesting tactics. And I would highly recommend him. It's for very digestible kind of old school YouTube discussions about the Warhammer game. Finally, we move on to painters. I'm not going to spend too much time with them because painting is a very subjective thing and it's all about you and how you want to do it and these people just help you out a little bit more with it. There are a lot of amazing painters out there and there's going to be a ton that I'm not going to be currently mentioning because I wanted to keep it to only two and there's a reason I chose these two. But just look up 40k painters. You're going to find a million of them. There are a ton of fantastic ones and don't just choose these two. I'm choosing these two because I want to shout them out specifically. First things first, we've got Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. This one is completely unsurprising. Duncan Rhodes used to be the guy who did all the painting for Warhammer officially on their actual YouTube channel. He has plenty of memes about him, thin your paints, too thin coats, etc., etc. He has a very good way of talking. He explains why he's painting things a certain way. He has got good filmmaking, and he just now jumped into his own YouTube channel called Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. And while his backlog of videos isn't too big, and I'd like to get a bunch of more videos in there so that we can kind of have a bit more of a backlog of more factions, it now covers more things like Star Wars characters or maybe some like old World War II figurines and stuff. So you can really get around there. And a lot of the stuff you learn learn from watching those other ones like the Darth Maul figure for instance will help you learn cool techniques for Warhammer stuff. He is a blessing among the community 
I highly recommend it. Secondly, and finally, we have an up and coming YouTuber named The Painting Coach. And I chose him specifically because he actually gave me tips on my own stuff. I saw one of his videos for the Order of the Sacred Rose Sisters of Battle, and I really liked the way they looked. And I decided to base my Sisters of Battle kind of off of that. The white armor, of course, but some differences. The capes are a different color and all. But he had a great strategy. It was a very impressive way he did the white and the white detailing. And I actually asked him, hey, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my whites. Can you give me a hand? And he helped tell me a couple different tips and pointers. And overall, he was actually a very kind person and he really helped me out with what I was trying to get. So I think that he would be a wonderful person to check out as he is an up and coming painting YouTuber. Um, of course, you know, as a new YouTuber, there are always a couple kinks to work out. But besides that, he does a great job. His models look fantastic. And I'm excited to see how he continues as time goes on. Hopefully it will be nothing but positive things. Anyway, that's it. Those are eight Warhammer YouTubers that are better than me and that you should absolutely check out. I, of course, will still continue to make Warhammer content. We will be doing battle reports on Twitch sometime soon, uh, both myself and Magic Carp Use Fly and our associated friends. And we will also be working more on that series on Matt's channel as well, if you want to check that out. That's really all the whole point of this video. I wanted to give some people a little bit more of a shout out of this kind of thing. And that is really all it was. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.